Hi there, Tom here from Made on Jupiter. Um, we've been experimenting a little bit with um, polygon, uh, 2D polygon triangulation in Spoke Creator. And I thought it would be a fun little technical demo uh, to show you uh, how we're doing it and what the issues are that we encountered and the solutions we found. So um, this is a little 2D drawing module that we've put in. It's using paper.js. <clears throat> you can draw Bezier curves here, this little bunny. And uh, we, um, we're we using a library called poly 2 tree um, uh, which has a C-sharp version. Uh, we integrated that in our uh, Unity uh, setup. And this allows us to um, triangulate outlines like uh, the little bunny here. And the result of that is uh, something like this. It's pretty fast and interactive. You can see it a bit here live. Uh, you can change the placement of these eyes here, and maybe even um, change the number of segments in the eye, um, etc., etc. Let's see the update. Um, now, this is very nice, but uh, we wanted to go a step further and, and try to get a little more regular polygons in here. Uh, now, so th there's a few libraries out there that, that can give you what's called a refined Delaunay triangulation, but I couldn't find any um, open source ones uh, that were easy to plug in, at least not in C sharp. So, um, talked to the Poly to Tree guys, and um, they mentioned that they uh, allow you to provide what's called Steiner points to. Um, Further subdivide the uh, the mesh, uh, you know, inside the contour if you want. And so we've experimented with that a little bit. Um, so this is how it looks um, without the standard points. And now we can start adding some points here just by uh, clicking. As you can see, it just nicely um, subdivides the mesh, and you get uh, polygons that are a little more even distributed. You still get very thin polygons at the edges. Uh, no way around that at this point, unless we go to a, a different solution. Uh, but it's pretty cool already. So um, another thing we've uh, this of course is a manual process, and it's it's um, it's not always practical, of course, and and sometimes the uh, triangulation fails when you know you put points outside of the boundary or outside the um, the hole here. Um, so we we're trying to find a more robust and automatic solution and um, what we've done for that is create a grid uh, based on a thread on the Unity forums I think here uh, thanks to the Chen 5 for pointing that out and um, so we're generating a grid here uh, and we can change resolution as you can see it works fine. However, um, two things need to be done, of course. You need to call away the points that are outside of the boundary, because again, that leads to instability. And even if you do that, um, if the points are too close to the edges, um, which is this case, it still seems to fail uh, in some cases, probably where uh, some of the points are too close to the edge, uh, precision areas. So what we've done here is um, cut away the points away from the edge. And we can do this more or less aggressively here using the slider. And then uh, we have a perfectly stable solution. So that's pretty cool. So how, how does this work in the background here? Uh, a little bit about Spoke Creator. So this is an entirely parametric network. Um, so what we have here is our 2D uh, Bezier bunny. And um, we tessellate that curve, and we add uh, a couple of eyes, which come from uh, an imported file here. Kind of moved around, edited, and another poly circle here, and that we can uh, change the radius off using this slider here and this control. And we rotate that, we move that, put that to zero, and so we have our combined bunny, and then. Um, I feed this into two different sub-networks here, one that uses the grid and one that uses the manual uh, Steiner point approach. So let's uh, dive in, say, into the manual here and see what's happening. 
Um, so here's our triangulate contour, which is using the poly tree library. And um, so we're adding our Steiner points in uh, the following way. We have a point creation tool uh, that allows you to kind of create points freely in space. In this. Uh, also edit them. You can select them and move them around or even delete them. Uh, and we feed that into uh, the Steiner points uh, option here of our uh, triangulation uh, module. So this uh, takes in the uh, bunny curves, the Steiner points, and it triangulates based on that. Um, and we can shift select this here to start adding more Steiner points uh, where we want them. As you can see it's fully interactive. And, um, and then we feed that into a camera that um, shows a lot together from the top. Um, we have the same, so if we go one level up again and we go into the grid, that's a little more complex. Uh, what are we doing here? Well, essentially we're doing the same thing, but there's a little more, a little more going on. So we're, we're triangulating here again. We're pulling in the, um, the curves here and triangulating. Um, but to get the standard points, we need to do a little more. So what we're doing here is taking in the curves and calculating the centroid in space and the size of the geometry and creating a plane around that. Uh, that plane uh, contains a bunch of points, as you can see. And uh, then we are doing a temporary uh, triangulation here um, without starting points. And we're projecting those points onto that piece of geometry. Uh, it might seem a bit convoluted, but it's all working pretty swift and pretty fast, and it's um, totally fine. So uh, what comes out of here, essentially what you, what you do with a project on Geo is that you feed it in a piece of geometry and a bunch of positions, and it's going to try to project those positions along a vector uh, onto that geometry. The vector here is uh, along the y-axis, which is our green up-down axis. So um, it's projecting that, and the points that are, um, you know, uh, touching or uh, hitting the uh, surface after projection um, emit a, um, a, a, you know, a true bo boolean in this hit mask here. So every point that um, touched the surface uh, here is true and any point that's not uh, touching the surface is false and we're feeding that to a delete point, uh, to the mask of a delete point. So we're feeding the points in here and the mask, the true false mask uh, in here and we're then deleting the points um, based on that mask. And as you can see, it just uh, deletes the points that, that fall outside of the piece of geometry. Actually, if we shift select that, we can see it. Um, and then, but as we said, that, that wasn't enough because some of the points close to the edge were still causing the triangulation to fail. So we need to kind of delete points that are still close to the curves. So what we're doing next is feeding those points into the closest point on curve and um, we're feeding um, the closest point on curve two inputs here. Uh, we're feeding in the curve geometry of course and the positions that come from the lead points which are our green points here. So we're calculating the closest point on curve and that's emitting um, a distances and closest points. Uh, what we're interested in is distances and we we compare those distances to a value and that comes from this uh, float edge call value which is here um, and any points that are less um, create a true value any points that are uh, higher than that create a false value of the opposite and we feed that uh, true false list to another delete points that deletes the points um, that are within a certain distance of these curves and then we're zeroing that in Y, just making sure everything is zero in Y because the triangulator one needs that. And we re-triangulate uh, the whole thing, um, essentially the curves, uh, the eyes, and the Steiner points here, which are coming in as Steiner points uh, using the triangulate contour. And again, passing that on to the camera.